Hi Scorpio, welcome to your timeless reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Venus. I'm going to get right into your reading and start off with the card that I pulled off camera. You actually got the hanged man and it flew out in reverse. And so to me, I'm going to read this energy a little bit different than I feel like a traditional reversal would be, um, simply because of the imagery. And I want to zoom in to make sure that you can see the card um, and to see how liberated, let me see if you can, if it'll focus, how liberated this person looks um, hanging here and simply being okay and being at peace, hanging in the balance, um, hanging simply by a transformation that is taking place in their life. Um, so I wanted to get as closely up as possible for you to see this figure and know that this is the energy that I'm picking up for you, Scorpio. You're feeling very liberated, very free to me. It feels like um, being able to surrender and allow the universe to show you a new way, show you a new perspective. Um, at the bottom of the deck for the tarot, currently right now you have the High Priestess, which means this is a very intuitive time for you. Like you intuitively know when to act, when to be still, when to listen, when to just be and not do any of those things. And that is a huge talent of yours, Scorpio. Um, again, this is something that you have learned and studied about yourself um, and learned it so much so that you have become a master with these two major arcana, a master at um, presenting as very peaceful and at peace in your life because you are um the hangman suggests that you are okay with spirit placing you you know where you need to be placed abundance at the bottom of the deck period <laughs> um you are okay with spirit placing you in the rooms that you need to be placed in in order to impact the people that you need to impact you're in, at peace being a channel you're at peace being, you are at peace, you are, are, are an at peace being, which is something I feel like you've waited a long time to say. Yes, because you have effort here. You've put in a lot of effort for this. You've put in a lot of work for this Scorpio. You deserve this kind of peace. You deserve this kind of perspective. You deserve this kind of intuition um, because it has, it has been you working with spirit um, in order to gain these new perspectives. And that's not always the easiest task. Um, only you know the journey that you've been on and why the effort has been worth it this entire time. Um, and Spirit is just here to affirm your intuition. Like, you know. You know what you've been through. You know what tested your intuition. Um, and how your intuition is, it thrives off of you knowing yourself. You have deepening that came flying out with the cutest cat on it. I'm gonna read it. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender. They bring the peace of God. I really can't make it up, Scorpio. Like I really can't make it up. Um, so you have been here many times. You have done this, this life thing many times. Um, it doesn't intimidate you whatsoever. And I feel like, especially in this lifetime, it depends on age. It doesn't really matter, but this could be like the youngest that you have picked up on certain things in a lifetime period. Um, with effort again, it's not just this lifetime that you put in the effort. It is lifetimes that you have put in the effort to get to where you are in this lifetime. Um, so your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping. That's what we talked about. Detachment and surrender. That's everything that we just talked about in the hanged man and how you feel liberated by this way of living. You feel liberated by this spiritual way of living, the spiritual way of being. 
you've done it the other ways of, you know, doing it like everyone else with a lot of effort. You're trying to do, you're trying to ascend, you're trying to achieve. You're over that. You're over the 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 kind of effort that doesn't feel aligned with spiritual effort. And then you have the card of right now. Stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow. You'll soon trust that nothing more will come than can be handled each moment. So this is definitely a part of um, the peace of God. The peace of God. Um, so you are focused on the present. You aren't letting, again, the kind of world that we live in dictate what you do in your present moment. Like you aren't doing something because you feel as if you should. Um, you're very much so present in order to know intuitively, oh, this is what I'm going to do. A, because it's what I want to. B, it's because I'm being called to, called to do so by a higher being than just my ego. At the bottom of the deck, you have outrageous openness. Dear love, open me to your will. Release me from my attachments. Surprise and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed and I'm open to receive. So this is the overall energy that you have been sending out to spirit and spirit hears you. They are affirming you by, you know, having me give you this message to let you know that you staying present, you communicating with spirit and, and opening yourself up to what spirit is guiding you towards, which is love at the bottom of the deck. Spirit is always guiding you towards love. Spirit is always wanting you to be surrounded by love in anything that you do, Scorpio. Um, and that is important to you, I feel like. With it coming out, um, it's something that you may be very hungry for in a way that others don't understand. Um, because love can come in many different forms. And I feel like over many different lifetimes, you have understood this. Um, and there's a hunger for connection. I feel like with love's energy coming out, um, there's a hunger for a, a, a sense of deep peace that I think you are here in this lifetime to experience deeper than any other lifetime that you have experienced. And you will know, you will know that it's different. You have the Gemini energy coming out for you um, and the double whammy of Mercury coming out as well because Mercury rules over Gemini astrologically. But with Gemini, we have curiosity, intellect, and networking. So you are interested in networking with others, other intellectual beings who get you, who understand you, um, who can keep up with the kind of conversations that you're interested in who can keep up with kind of mental uh, stimulation it takes to be in conversation with you. Again, I was sensing that in the hunger card, you're hungry for connection. You're hungry for genuine connection um, because you know that if you are here this many lifetimes, then who are the other people that you, the other souls that you've been connected with in these other lifetimes as well? With Mercury's energy here, you're going to be thinking, learning, networking again, and communicating um, a lot of mercurial energy. This could be a time where you <clears throat> find yourself talking a lot or thinking a lot, journaling a lot. It could be as well because Mercury connects to thoughts of all kind. Um, let's let's do that again because that one kind of just flew out. But for Scorpio, Moon, Sun, and Venus, which is a tarot. I have to tell them this hmm. A lot of messages want to come out for you. Scorpio, we're only going to do so few many at a time. Let's see. Um, but yes, you are curious about previous lifetimes. You could be interested in doing past life regression or learning more about your past lives in any way possible. So getting a past life reading from a trusted psychic and intuitive. Um, and learning more about yourself in that way, where these patterns are coming from in your life, being very curious about it with Gemini's energy here, learning from your own self. 
because you have a deepening of knowledge that you have worked very hard for and it deserves to be honored. Even if you feel like, oh, what I know is not something I can find in a book. Just because you can find certain things in a book or online doesn't make it that much more credible. Like, you know, intuitively. The Ace of Pentacles with the spiritual number 666 right in the middle of that. Can you see? Hopefully you can. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is actually a reward for your efforts. There's a new material opportunity or material like financial uh, goal that may be reached, achieved. I don't like goals. I don't, anywho. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is something that is coming into your life because of your dedication and hard work to it, to manifestation, to manifesting. The Death card is showing up as your energy um, to remind you that you are a transmuter. You do transmute things, you change things. So even if you believe that your financial situation is not necessarily in the most idealistic place right now, you have the, the power to transmute that, to change that. The death card connected to you know, effort and right now is also showing um, like a transformation coming into your spiritual practice, um, having it be more um, of a flow. Stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow. Um, I think this is a huge transformation for you because a Scorpio has, especially when you are a fixed energy, you have the opportunity to almost intuitively, psychically, start out with a seedling and fast forward to when that seedling turns into a full grown oak tree. Um, and you go so fast that sometimes you miss that in between and you're at the tree and you are now beginning to fix on another seedling, another thing. So um, be very present of that growing period that's happening either around you or within you. Um, and be curious about it. That is also what helps you to slow down is your curiosity. Okay, so how did this, you know, amount of sunlight help it grow two inches more than, you know, the other day when it grew, you know, one inch? I'm not sure where the gardening uh, metaphor is coming from, but some of you may understand. Um, and just realizing that fall in love with the growth process, not just the outcome. You also have the 10 of swords. Mm, no, no, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of swords um, with Gemini energy here again. And this card is labeled as cruelty. And I think it is what's so standing out to me is like self cruelty, how you self talk how you internalize, how you process information, how you move with the information that you have. Because Mars's energy is connected to the Nine of Swords as well, Mars and Gemini. Um, and that placement can be very, it, depending on other placements, that can be a difficult aspect um, because you're always moving, you're always thinking. And sometimes you are not... Um, you're not giving yourself the processing time that you may actually need. Maybe your processing time um, is looking like it wants to be longer, like you um, want to be more gentle with self and decision-making or thought processes so that you don't feel as if you're being cruel to yourself. And that energy will be different for everyone um, because the nine of swords, either way, talks about a lot of mental stimulation and how do you deal with that? Like, how do you deal with that when you're trying to be present? What do you do with the mental stimulation? Do you bully yourself into slowing down or is it more of a gentle kind of reminder? Oh, like I can, I can let my, my mind just go right now. Like I don't have to be planning the next five steps. Um, take what resonates. 
But you also have the justice card with adjustment. And you have the two of wands here. So there's something that you are overcoming. We have a lot of Mars energy out, which um, Mars is also connected to these uh, traditionally to Scorpio. Um, but there's a balance coming into your life in regards to the mental stimulation that we were just talking about in regards to finding your your peace um, and how that process is deepening for you is um, you calling it in, you, you centering yourself in that energy. Again, with a lot less effort than you believe to need to put towards any given situation, it's like it's a lot simpler than I and than you are imagining in regards to like staying present and um, keeping track of your thoughts um, and trying to put them in a more or move, steer them, guide them into a more positive light. Not to say that there is anything wrong with sitting with your shadow because you do have the death card which rules over scorpio energy you do have that here but again especially with justice coming out finding a balance of sitting in the dark and looking at the lighter aspects of life as well knowing that everything is not is not um, necessarily bad it's not out of balance um that darkness brings harmony to light and vice versa. Um, you have the lover's card that flew out being um, connected with the word art and the lovers is also ruled by Gemini. So triple Gemini energy coming out again. We have um, Venus and Scorpio and the seven of cups as well with debauchery. I'm gonna keep shuffling. Uh -oh. the lover's card here is telling me that you are going to actually be harmonizing harmonizing um, the light and you know more shadowy aspects of yourself in order to take control over this energy in your life of I feel like all of this is in order to make a decision because the two of wands and the two in general can talk about making a decision. Libra or Justice can talk about decision making as well and balancing the scales in order for you to make a decision. And with the lovers card, you can see duality in, um, in the card, having two options to choose between. Um, you also have the two of swords, okay? So peace is what it's labeled as. But the Two of Swords is absolutely the decision card. So there's a choice that you are making here. More Libra energy. Um, so I'm seeing Aries, uh, a lot of Gemini, Libra, Scorpio, and um, any of the Earth signs. Yes. Um, bottom of the deck, you have the moon. So um, intuition is strong for you with at first, the high priestess being your bottom of the deck, and now the moon, um, your emotions being very connected to your intuition and vice versa, and how um, emotions like even hunger can intuitively tell you what you are craving and longing for. Um, but yes, so the lover's card in correlation with the two of wands and the two of swords, um, there's an opportunity for you to follow the energy that is guiding you at this moment in order to make a decision to bring you to your peace, to bring you further into your peace again. And because you are so free flowing, because you are so liberated at the idea that spirit is mapping your every step, um, this feels less intimidating to you than it normally would. It feels like, especially because your spiritual practice, your spiritual faith and belief is deepening as well and uh you're very curious less less and less afraid more and more curious um i think even your shadow side makes you curious because maybe that's not even as scary as you really thought it was 
leave it to a Scorpio to be able to walk in the dark and be unafraid of meeting anything in there because Scorpio is like, I'm the scariest thing in the dark. <laughs> you should be afraid of crossing paths with me. So um, with that kind of energy, it's like that kind of energy and the faith that spirit is always protecting you. Um, it, it allows you to come to peaceful conclusions in, in your life. I think the scariest part is facing yourself, facing your own mind, facing your own thoughts about yourself and your strength and your capabilities. Um, and I think through love, that spiritual love, okay, a spiritual union it could be, because it's at the bottom of the deck, it could be friendships, spiritual union, self-love, spirit love, um, that is helping you come to conclusions about yourself, about how your mind works and how it can be gentler, how you can be gentler to yourself and how that piece is possible. Like you've had it before and it's not like something that is just going to leave you. The Ace of Pentacles, again, <clears throat> I just want to make sure I'm highlighting on this is an opportunity for you to receive. It's funny because that card is now coming out for you. Uh, extend your hands and receive. There is a necessary balance being, between giving and receiving. When you receive from others, you open the door for them to receive as well. So um, open yourself to receiving whatever this new opportunity or new gift is, either materially, um, someone giving you a hand with something of the physical matter, um, especially in your times of networking. And also when you're talking to other people, don't be too hard on yourself if you feel like your words aren't coming out as eloquently as someone else's or you're like doing this thing where you you try to transmute yourself into what you feel like should fit the room. Come as you are and receive as you are. Like don't try to receive on behalf of this side of the Scorpio that I'm trying to show and not on this side as well, coming into the room fully. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, you have love yourself. You deserve love first and foremost from yourself, exactly as you are. Give it and receive it. So give it out as, or receive it as good as you give it out and vice versa. If you're so good at receiving it, give it out as good as you receive it. Um, so love is a huge, um, highlight for you coming up as important loving yourself um and being open to receive love as well okay this one wanted to shoot out and period you have 88 twice on two of two different decks um talking about i am wealthy and abundance so <laughs> and underneath that was synchronicity. So you already know that this message is aligned, that there is abundance coming into your life. Spirit is asking you to receive. Um, and, you know, much like a theme of what everyone else is going through right now, believe that you should receive what is coming your way. So I'm going to read the bottom of the deck first. 88, I am wealthy. You are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life, period, end of sentence. <laughs> you have a lot of abundance coming your way. You are abundance. There's no need to chase it because it, it's in your life. It exists all around you. 28, I am a leader in an effort, yes, effort, in an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team toward achievement, Scorpio. So people look to you to be a leader. You are a different kind of leader than people <clears throat> have ever seen, more than likely, with the death card here. And I think you're starting to realize how much of a leader you are, not overthinking it, not doubting yourself, not being, again, cruel to yourself when you feel like, how am I leading? I don't know where I'm like, I'm leading these people to. Just know that you are a leader. Release your expectations and your thoughts about yourself. When you're networking, embrace that leadership role. 
don't shrink back from it. Um, and know that spirit has put you in these rooms for a reason. You're in the room for a reason. You're here to experience what you're experiencing for a reason. Be present. As soon as, especially as the opportunities are coming in, be present. You have um, a lot of this energy coming out. I'm going to point it out to you. Just give me one second. So you have the skull. Hidden secrets can harm you, even the secrets that are hidden from yourself. But even in the death card, you can see a skull, um, a skeleton um, depicted as well. So that's highlighting this message as well. It's time to transmute the secrets um, that are within you. And even if they aren't secrets, hidden secrets can harm you. It's like when you are not open and honest, that leaves opportunity for things to harm you. Especially if you're like walking into a room and not walking into the room fully authentic and someone is not realizing that they're stepping all over your your identity, your authenticity, because you haven't presented that first. And so then, you know, that leaves room for harm. Like you can leave a situation feeling less than because you didn't show up for all aspects of yourself in that moment. So that card can be taken differently in many different ways. Secrets are not helpful. They are harmful. Um, so being open and honest with yourself and open and honest with the people around you. You also have the four leaf clover. Great, uh, great and good fortune. Great good fortune is coming into your life. Um, that's a lot of <laughs> abundance. That's a lot of messages of abundance coming out for you. You also have kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. Okay. And like we were talking about planning ahead for you before Scorpio, um, it looks differently when you are spirit led, spirit guided. So even in unsettled times, hopping from one instance to the next, because that's what a kangaroo does. It's like you can't possibly think that it's comfortable to um to be a kangaroo or to ride in a kangaroo sack because they are always hopping they're always going um and so that makes it more of the unsettled like just thinking about how a kangaroo transports its um young in its pouch jumping up and down it's like things are not settled right now um and Planning ahead as much as possible is always a good idea, but more so like remind yourself, oh, this is an unsettling time right now, but spirit's guiding me through this. And I need to go along with the plans that they are placing within me intuitively so that I'm not fighting the flow. When we start to make our own plans, it's, it feels like we're fighting the flow, but when it is connected and aligned to the divine, it feels less like we're fighting the flow and going with it instead. At the bottom of the deck, you have wheel and decisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. And so that's that balance that is coming into your life between the wheel and between the kangaroo, like allowing your life to ramble aimlessly and a need to plan ahead. It's like that sweet spot, that balance is listening to what is is being intuitively like calling you to do and also doing what you're being called to do but not trying to force the rest if that makes sense i hope that it does scorpio i hope that you enjoyed this reading this timeless message of what is coming into your life right now which is a whole lot of abundance it's a whole lot of peace and a continuous transmutation of energy that is not aligned with your overall life purpose and goals. Be open to receive guidance and direction and allow spirit to wow you and to put you in awe, okay? I hope that you enjoyed this reading, Scorpio. If you did, please comment down below and leave a like. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you in another reading. Peace.